What up, y'all? It's your boy Chance. Um, and I am here today to do my take on the Earth as flat deal, which I don't believe that at all. Like, I don't believe that it is flat, but this whole bit is really getting annoying. Now, I will admit there were a couple, you know, theories that made sense to a certain extent. But uh, this is just my take on it and my view on it. You guys can believe whatever you want. But I'm just telling you from my experience, you know, not just as a human being, but as a person of military background, you know, I had to deal with stuff like this a little bit of the times through my dad being military. Because he dealt with 82nd Airborne Division. He was Staff Sergeant 82nd Airborne. So he had to deal with a lot of stuff to deal with air and space. And I can tell you firsthand right off the bat that the Earth is not flat. And if you think about it, if the Earth was flat, don't you think that we would all be flat? Or like looking like 2D characters or some shit? Now, I will admit, though, my buddy the Brick, he, or Brick the Ripper, or Ripper the Brick, how the fuck you say his damn YouTube name? So, my apologies, dude, if I miss saying your name, but, like, he did have a really good theory about the conveyor belt theory, as far as, you know, air travel, and, I do like that theory. If you really think about it, you know, we do indeed get drug around by the wind going around the earth whenever we're in flight, like the conveyor belt. That makes sense. It, it does make sense. But, but, if you go into outer space and you go to like a space station or something of that nature and you look down at the earth, it is indeed round. And, you know, and you're right about one thing, though, dude. Oh, sorry, I guess I accidentally hit the table that this is sitting on. But, what was that saying? Oh, yeah. Sorry, I lost my train of thought there for a minute. Now, you would be correct if. The Earth did not have its ozone layer. Yes, we would all be cooked alive or we would all freeze to death due to the vacuum of space. But also, you got to take into account this as well. If we didn't have the ozone layer, we would all pretty much be floating in space due to the lack of gravity. And so, like, let's say you have a missile silo on one side of the Earth, and you want to launch it. You're not going to launch it. Now, yeah, you're going to launch it straight up, but it's not going to go like this. It's going to go up, and then it's going to go around like this to its destination. It's going to go up and then curve around at its peak when it gets to the right area to drop down onto its target. So yeah, your conveyor belt theory, it is partly right. I will give you that. And it does make sense for like air travel, missile attacks, that type of deal. That does make sense. But for all of you out there saying that the earth is flat, where the fuck are you getting this shit? Like, yeah, Christopher Columbus thought the Earth was flat. There's a lot of people that thought the Earth was flat. Until somebody finally said, hey, I'm going to launch some guys into space, take them to the moon, and we're going to see how everything goes. We had men on the moon. Turned out great. 
they looked back at the Earth, and they did, in fact, confirm that the Earth was round. So, yes, people, on contrary to what you guys might believe, yes, the Earth is very round, like a ball. So, why don't we just put this fucking shit to rest and be done with it? Like, I am seriously tired of this shit getting thrown around and constantly here, you know, hearing about it. It's like, that's all I ever see anymore. It's getting old. But I just spoke my two cents on it. Whether you agree or disagree, don't really matter. But if you do agree, that's great. If you don't agree, hey, that's your opinion. I respect it. But with that being said, y'all, I am going to hop off here and get ready to play some... COD, Modern Warfare Reflex, multiplayer for you guys. So that being said, y'all, much love. Catch y'all in a bit.